This video is all about the Haiti earthquake case study. Now the Haiti earthquake occurred on the 12th of January 2010 at 4.53pm. It measured a 7 um, on the Richter scale and the epicentre was 25 kilometres away from the capital of Port-au-Prince. So here you really be thinking about the time of day this occurred and also um, where it occurred, very close to a capital that's dense population, lots of buildings and just as a recap Haiti is located in the Caribbean and it is an island. Now, this occurred because of a conservative plate margin. Now, this is where two plates slide past each other. In the case of the Haiti earthquake, the North American plate slid past the Caribbean plate in opposite directions um, at different speeds. And this is what caused that pressure to build up and that friction to build up. In terms of primary effects, um, you can see from this photo here, there's, there's widespread damage across Haiti. Um, the earthquake occurred and left 316,000 people dead. Um, 250,000 homes were destroyed, in addition to the ports and the airports being badly damaged. Hospitals and schools were also badly damaged. And this led to problems later down the line in terms of hospitals. In addition to this, the main prison was destroyed and this led to 4,000 inmates escaping prison. Now, as we move on to secondary effects, so things that happened in the, the weeks and the months after the earthquake, around one in five people lost their jobs. Um, due to the primary effect of 250,000 homes being destroyed, it left one million people homeless. The hospitals and the morgues became full, which meant that mass graves occurred, bodies had to be piled up on streets. In addition to this, diseases such as cholera spread. We know cholera is a waterborne disease, so that spread through the water. It was also very difficult to get aid due to issues at the airport, and we'll come back to that when we look at immediate responses. And in addition, looting became a problem. So this is where people take advantage of buildings um, being left unoccupied and stealing things from those buildings. So this is an economic effect. Immediate responses. This is something that you really, really need to know inside out because if you get asked and evaluate or to what extent question, this is what you need to be able to, to do. Now, crucial aid was slow to arrive due to the damaged ports and airports. Now, you need to think of this as an evaluation point because perhaps if the aid would have been quicker, could this have reduced the death toll? Bottled water and purification tablets were provided. Obviously, we mentioned about cholera. This is to aim to tackle that. The UK government um, donated £20 million pounds of support. Um, the USA sent rescue teams and a 1,000 troops to support with evacuation. And in terms of evacuation, 235,000 people were evacuated to less damaged cities. But again, the issue here is that Haiti is an LIC um, and therefore the resources that you would perhaps need to respond to an earthquake weren't there because of the lack of money. This comes on to the long term responses of the fact that Haiti was dependent on overseas aid. So they wouldn't have been able to have responded the way they did if they didn't have that aid from different countries. Now, six months after the earthquake, 98% of the rubble remained uncleared. Uh, still to this day, Haiti is suffering the consequences of the earthquake. The EU gave $330 million and the World Bank also waived um, Haiti's debt repayments for five years. So it meant they didn't have to spend the money on repaying their debt. Instead, they could spend their money on building the country back up again, building houses, building businesses, building schools and hospitals. They also built new homes um, again, but built them to a higher standard. And just in case an earthquake did happen um, again, Haiti hadn't experienced an earthquake before, unlike Chile, which is going to be a case study I'll look at in another video. Um, so the response to this building of houses was quite slow, um, which meant that still, like I said to this day, Haiti is suffering the consequences of that earthquake. So in summary, this is your LIC case study, and you really need to think with an evaluative lens when it comes to this case study.